Hey YouTube, how you're going? I uh, just thought I'd do a quick video update because I haven't put a video up since I left Sydney. Uh, I'm now in New York, uh, just staying uh, on 96th and Broadway Street. And uh, tomorrow we leave to go down to um, East Brunswick where we're staying for the uh, duration of the World's Toughest Mudder event. Oh, well, my, well, my dad will be staying there, obviously I'll be competing. Um, but I'm booked in for the Friday night and the Sunday night. And uh, Dad's at least got the place uh, on Saturday night if he doesn't want to hang out in the cold for the full 24 hours watching the race. Um, <clears throat> since getting to New York, I mean, my preparation has been anything uh, but ideal. Um, I originally planned to kind of do maybe two or three light gym sessions as well as two or three light runs, you know, just kind of 10K, just take it nice and easy just to keep my fitness up. Uh, I managed to do one run uh, the other day, but unfortunately on the Friday before I left for New York, I, I felt a, a kind of pull uh, or a slight kind of strain, I guess, in my muscle above my knee. And, um, you know, thought it would pretty much just go away in a day or two like they normally do, but it's just been lingering with me. And with all the walking we've been doing for kind of like sightseeing and tourist stuff, it, it's really kind of troubling me. It, it's quite painful to walk on um, for a long period of time and going up and down stairs is a bit of a challenge as well. So um, unfortunately that's a bit of a negative uh, on things with regards to the world's toughest mudder. Uh, I'm not going to use it as an excuse obviously. Today I decided to uh, kind of sacrifice a day in the city and just spent it in the hotel room essentially just resting up, icing it lots and just hoping that it recovers just that little bit more so that it's not too painful. Uh, when I did do the light 7.5k run the other day, it wasn't, wasn't too bad at all. Um, it, it was like kind of, you could tell it hurt to run, but it wasn't like enough to make me stop. But I don't know if in doing that I've now aggravated a little bit and that's why it's kind of flared up the last couple of days. So, look, it's Thursday uh, here in New York at the moment, uh, about 4.50pm. Uh, so we've still got all day tomorrow, Friday, and that little bit of time in the morning before the event for it to kind of heal up. So I'm going to do that. Uh, just got a little bit of tightness in the other leg as well, but I'm hoping that's uh, just related to my IT band. So I was able to buy a, a small travel foam roller from REI, which was quite good, and uh, I'll be using that again tonight, so hopefully that helps it out. Um, other than that, guys, I mean... You know, the event's really close. There's not much more to say or do at this point in time. I've got another couple of videos I'll chuck up on my, uh, probably on my nutrition and a few bits of gear that I've bought while I'm here. But just kind of wanted to do a quick update on uh, dealing with injuries so close to an event. And um, obviously I'm kind of sacrificing that taper period or that period where you can just keep up your fitness uh, prior to a big event to try and recover as best as possible. So not going in this in the ideal situation, but uh, hoping that the event and knowing that the event is going to be a more f a mental thing, uh, especially after like hour 8, 9, 10, whatever. It's going to be all mental, hopefully. And um, hopefully the body and the muscle and the knee just holds up long enough for the event. As long as it does that, I'm happy. So thanks again, guys. Uh, please subscribe for more videos. Comment below. And look forward to seeing everyone who's competing at the event in less than, what is it, less than 48 hours time. Pretty crazy. Talk soon.